So hello, my name is Sky, and we met in the introductory video. So welcome to the South Direction. Uh, I'm here in the west of Ireland on a very misty wet day, soft rain that the west of Ireland is famous for. And I'm here to welcome you and introduce you a little bit to the South Direction. So in the wheel of the year, the South is the summer solstice. Um, so that peak time of growth in the growth year and in the day that translates as to the midday when the Sun is at its zenith and everything is most alive and focused on what needs to be done in the day. So this is where we start to perspire on a physical level. We're putting in that hard work. Um, and so I'd like to just go a little bit over the flow of how we got to the South a bit by talking about my personality actually. So I'm a very, what could be called an Easty person. So I have no problem with inspiration. I tend to get a lot of creative ideas and feel really inspired in life. And then I move forward and I get really excited and it releases all of this vital energy. So moving into the Southeast. And then I come into the South time and so I have this tendency inside myself to have a lot of East and then Southeast energy. And then on top of that, I live in a society that is very focused, I would say, on production and achievement. So these two things together often finds me in the South of having committed to a lot of work. Um, and so the question is, especially in today's world, where I certainly feel there is much work that needs to be done for cultural transformation and healing. And so knowing that that greater vision sits in the north that I'm connected to, right, on this north-south axis here in the south, how to do that good work in a good way. And I would say in a good way. <laughs> so what does that mean? I guess for me, it's so that that south energy can flow. Um, so flow easily and efficiently. Um, so I'd like to tell a little story uh, in my life around that. And so I just moved to this house and this is literally my back garden right here. And I'm standing where the sea is when the tide comes in, in the morning time at the moment. <clears throat> so I'm just here two days now. And I'm a person who's moved a lot in my life. And so that time of movement from one house to the next, I would say is very southy. There's a lot to do physically and just energetically, like closing one place, starting anew, and that whole journey that that transition is. And so it's a way for me to track my patterns, my south patterns in myself. And so what I notice is that every time I do it, I get a little bit better. So it always seems to be a moment and a certain amount of overwhelm in it for me, but that I've gotten better over time. So I'd like to just tell you a little bit of some of the story snippets of this last move. So a few things I did in preparation was to do those little jobs I've been procrastinating around. I used to do these little jobs on my days that I had allocated for moving, which is just a recipe for overwhelm. So I'm getting better at doing those little jobs. So a couple of things I did this time is I scrubbed and cleaned this old rusty mill for grinding flour because I love to make sourdough bread and I want to try do that stone ground grinding myself. So I had actually carried it unscrubbed from my last house. So I was like, I'm not doing that again. So I did that in the week coming up to the move. I also cleaned, I have a little mill. I love to harvest dandelion root and make dandelion mochas for myself. And so, and I haven't done that for some time and I wanted to put in a new pattern for myself that when I land in this new home, I'm gonna make time to do things like that for myself, which I did do this morning. It was my second morning here and I did it and it's my happy place. It's not just that I enjoy the whole process of harvesting and creating and drinking, but it also reflects back to me. I'm in a good place in my life when I've made time for these things. So I wanted to set this new pattern in motion too. So I also scrubbed that little mill so it would be ready for me when I arrived here. I also asked for the key a day early and I asked that the next person who was coming into the next house was coming a day later. So I gave myself an extra day to move out of there as well. And I canceled my work and also 
hosting a volunteer day this week. And also, my I hold that with a friend who has the same tendencies as me, actually, just to plan too much, really, in a given time. It's really hard for us to let those days go. Because what happens to me in those moments is my mind wants to say, no, no, somehow you'll squeeze it all in. But then I imagine making that space and I feel my nervous system actually relax. So in those moments, it's really important for me to listen to my body versus what my mind is saying, which can tend to be more um, trained by societal norms. So yeah, that's just a little story I wanted to tell you around how the South has been uh, very much alive in my life. It still is, as I'm still in that transition. And now to move to the non-human world. Uh, if I was an animal, I would be a fox moving along the edge of a woodland at dusk. And I'm feeling vital in my body as I move along. And then all of a sudden, up ahead in the clearing, I notice a young hare and my whole body changes. I go like into focus lock and I'm so focused on this hare and that I would like to eat this hare. <laughs> you know, that that's so everything I do, every minute moment is tuned towards making that happen. So for a fox, that's walking really really gently on the earth and in a really precise way so I don't make that sound because those hairs have those amazing ears you know it's eating the herbs but the ears are listening so I'm really having to notice where I put my feet if I put my foot on a little branch or a dry leaf I'm gonna make that sound so my whole body is focused on this one task in this moment so I'd like to ask you the question how does it feel in your body when you're in that focused way of being? And I'd also like to ask you, how can you prepare in your life when you know there's a period that's really needing your focus coming up? And how do you integrate and restore after those times of focus? Okay, bye for now. It was lovely to spend this time with you.